Hey girl. <laughs> Hi guys, so today it's time to rehouse my Pamphobetius Antinus, the uh, big black, I think. Yeah, because as you can see, I did a video on this, like, I mean, not a video specifically on this, but I did a video of me moving all my tarantulas, all, all, all these shoebox tarantula enclosures into this new room over here. And I did show you guys this box because it, it kind of has mold in it, but no worries, these mold will not harm the tarantula in any way whatsoever. So yeah, but of course you don't want it to like overflood your tarantula, which is already happening over here. So we will be rehousing her into one of the custom made enclosures over there. But first we got to look for the custom made enclosure as in which one we will be rehousing that girl. So let's go. Now she's kind of big. So I'm going to have to look for an enclosure which has a rather big place for her to hide in. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Oh wait, maybe this one. Maybe because she can go inside that a little pot over there. Yeah, I think we'll put her in this and also this enclosure over here here has like textures like I mean not textures more like a level like height like so down here we have I mean we have the normal coconut fiber and the all those this good soil sand river sand and all this good stuff if you don't know what's in the soil go watch the other rehousing videos I have a playlist on them so go check it out but anyways over here we have like a hill so basically she can walk up and do whatever she wants up there there's like wood over here which is pretty cool and then there's a pot a piece over here because I think the pot broke. Yep, it's a piece of pot. Yep, and then down here is a rather big height. It's a whole pot actually. So I'm pretty sure she would enjoy this enclosure. We have got some plants over here. This is a real plant which dried up. I mean, kind of obvious it dried up because it is pretty dry in here. I will be misting this down because Antinus, Pamphobetes Antinus, they do enjoy a little bit damp. But yeah, over here we've got a plastic plant which looks awesome. I mean, from far, if like you close this, the enclosure looks pretty naturalistic don't you think yeah I think so as well and then down here we have got a little bit of dried leaves like leaf litter the moss is able to absorb the water when I spray so yeah that's pretty much it for this enclosure I think there's a oh there's a big leaf at the back here didn't notice that and yeah let's go get her into this enclosure she is a pretty crazy girl by the way so yeah I'll show you how crazy she is when she detects something moving on the ground and how I'm gonna do that is gonna get a leaf and of course, in order to tease her, of course, we're gonna have to get her out, right? Because we can't be teasing her in there, can we? Now this girl, when it comes to food, she is like, yeah, she's ever ready to grab food. So, oh, there she is. She's big. And look at the mold, you guys. It's quite bad. But as I said, this mold, I mean, a lot of people told me that this mold is not harmful for the tarantulas. I mean, before this, when I saw just a little bit of this mold, I get paranoid as hell and just rehouse them all together. But people just told me that these mold, they're actually not mold, they're actually mushroom spores. Like occasionally, I can see mushrooms growing in here, but it has not affected her whatsoever, especially my Thailand black. Remember her enclosure? Yeah, that was pretty bad as well. But she was doing perfectly fine regardless. But yeah, let, let's see how this girl acts with a leaf, all right? Hey, girl. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, this girl. I just jumped a little bit there. Just had a jump scare. Look at her. She is insane, you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check her out. Do, 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 do. I'm a worm. I'm a worm. I'm a leaf worm. Whoa, check. She, she's actually making noise, you know, like stridulating. Don't worry. This is not harming her in any way whatsoever. It's just a leaf. Yo, there she is. Yo, that's beautiful. She is big. She's a good... Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. You can grab the leaf. I will grab your enclosure. So before we move her in, like I mentioned, I'm going to be misting down this enclosure just a little bit because they do, I mean, look, the substrate is moist, but I mean, the mold, I'm not going to be doing this like super damp because we don't want that to happen because this enclosure, it's really looking pretty good. And can you imagine if mold starts, I'm going to have to scrap this whole enclosure and do it again, which no, no, thank you. Not interested. Not going to do that. So we'll just give it a light, a light mist like this. Yeah, that'll be good enough. So now we're gonna have to put her in here. By the way, if you guys don't know already, this is a one foot by one foot by one foot enclosure, which is, I mean, it's smaller than this, but I mean, she doesn't use a lot of space. I mean, she is big, but she's not that big. So yeah, let's get her into this. But how am I gonna do that? I'm not quite sure. Oh no, girl, you calm down, man. You calm down. Woo. Yeah, I think she already knows that it's a leaf. Oh no, she does it. <laughs> See, tarantulas, they aren't the smartest species out there. They're the smartest like animals out there. But anyways, let's get her in. I think I'll use this thing over here because it's the only way possible. Yep, it, it's good. It's good. Oh, girl, girl. 
calm down. But the thing is, I don't have the cover. Like, where is the cover for that? I'm not sure. Um, you know what? Maybe I could use this one. It's easier because it's smaller, right? Mm, yeah, this will be better. This will be, oh man, look at her. She's huge in this one. Oh man. All right, let's put her towards the side because I don't have a cover, like I mentioned. So we'll let her crawl in. She's a new world, by the way, so I'm not too worried. Oh man, look at her. She's massive, yo. All right, girl, you um, you bent your leg over there. I hope that's fine. Oh, she's heavy, she's heavy. All right, do not like fly out, okay? Because that'll not be fun. All right, there we go, girl. You just gotta go down and we are good to go. Man, this girl, she's pretty. Ooh, she's big, she's big. Are you like rubbing your hairs? I, I don't want to be kicked by hairs by you. Kicked by hairs by you? What? I don't even know. What am I even saying? Oh, she is gorgeous. This rehouse was pretty easy, I would say, and pretty successful. Where she is now is supposed to be the water dish area. I'm not daring to put the water dish right now, so I guess I will. Hey, move your legs. Your legs? You good? You good? Yeah, there we go, you guys. I'm kind of scared to put a water dish right now because you saw her, how she reacted with this leaf. So yeah, I'm not interested right now. <laughs> Maybe later once she discovers her height and goes in, yeah, that'll be better because right now is not the time. So yeah, guys, um, that'll be it for this rehouse. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you thumbs this video up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next rehouse will be. I know this girl isn't like crazy enough that you will make you guys excited or like yeah all those things she is in fact a new world and new worlds they're typically more laid back some of them are bolty but typically most of them in general are more laid back than the old worlds but yeah because of this enclosure look at all the mold i just decided hmm i mean even if it's not affecting her i just don't like to go to sleep thinking oh my tarantula is in a crazy moldy enclosure and just living there so i, I just decided to like move her in. I know I didn't mention that I'll be doing all the crazy old worlds first, but this is an exception because I mean, look at that. And I'm just gonna have to go and dump all of this out and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys take care and as always, have a good one. Peace. You know, the thing about coconut fiber is it's really light. As you can see, I'm just holding this whole thing with one hand and it's like super light. I'm not struggling in any way. But yeah, let's just dump it under the trees over here because why not, right? There's a little hole part over here. Let's just go boom like that. Look, everywhere is like brown and then suddenly there's like mold over there, which is, yeah. Ugh, there we go. That would be beneficial for the plants. Oh, wow. I just noticed that the cover was here, like, right outside my room. I'm such a genius, man.